Can we do a little rapid fire? I'll just mention a name from the, the locker room. You can give me like a one word answer. You can give me a 10 word answer, whatever you want. Yeah, just, sure. Just, oh, that's great. Uh, Triple H. Uh, worst farts in the business. I'm getting things out of you tonight. I've never heard before. I'm loving this. That yeah. that story, how you got hired and now the triple. Wow. Loving it. But, but, wow. but he's a bodybuilder protein, you know, all this kind of stuff. But like we sit on the side and be like a silent, but deadly thing. And we're like, ah, I'm not- <laughs> I look over at him awesome. and he's like grinning, you know, like, dang, dude. You-? But you know, the high protein, whatever, the bodybuilding diet, like it's, you know, not pleasant for anyone, but we say That's triple awesome. H first thing pops in my head, worst farts in the business. <laughs> awesome. Undertaker. One of the coolest dudes I've ever met in my life. Like he, he, man, like it, I, it's hard. It, coolest motherfucker alive. You know, like he was so awesome to me and, and uh yeah, I just, I love that dude. You know, he's awesome. Kane? Better wrestler than politician. I liked him better as a wrestler than a politician. <laughs> Get fair. Uh, Eddie Guerrero? Uh, awesome. Just awesome. Like, and the thing is, I, I, I didn't get to wrestle a lot, but, you know, like me, I studied that dude so much. Like, people don't realize how, like, very influ- influenced me a lot with my wrestling style. Like, it, uh, but I lo- I love the Guerreros, you know. But Eddie was a man. Dude. JBL, I love JBL too. Like, yeah. and uh, you know, and I I I credit him a lot for me my success in in wrestling. Like, like if you go back and hear the commentating that he did on me uh, during my segments, like he got. He got me over big in a certain part of wrestling that people don't understand, but like, uh, but he like he got me over huge, and I and and I love JBL. Like he's to me, he's like one of the greatest commentators ever. But he is also has a stiff, stiffest stiffest cross I ever. He got me yeah. one time and knocked my jaw over here. So. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Ace. Uh, so Johnny, like, uh, I've known Johnny for like over 20 years and, uh, you know, I was there when he first came to WCW. Uh, actually, I think Johnny is the greatest worker of all time, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> like, it's a 20 year job in WWE and took maybe one bump. So like, he's very smart and, uh, <laughs> and, uh. And uh, but he chewed my ass out a few times with when he, when he was in the position of talent relations. But it's understandable to me. That's a hard job, and that's a you know you have to deal with so many people, so many different characters. He can't always be like a nice guy, you know. So last one. What about Chris Benoit? Uh, uh. You want to pass? Uh, yeah, pass on that one. <laughs> you know. All right, last one, Shawn Michaels. Uh, Shawn, yeah, uh, Shawn. I mean, him. We haven't really had had too much interaction with each other. Um, but I do think he's one of the greatest of all time. You know, so like in uh, every reaction interaction that we had, which is positive. Uh, you know, like I'm a huge fan of Shawn Michaels. Uh. And definitely during the DX era when he was all crazy and like doing the Canadian flag and the and the whole gimmick. <laughs> I was like, crazy Sean's better than sober Sean. <laughs> uh, watching, <laughs> watching, watch, right, watching, right. watching, watch, you know, watching. <laughs> right. So tell us what, what are you doing today? Let's uh let's get people up to date. What are you doing today? And yes. uh how can people get a hold of you? So now you know I have a 20-year-old daughter now. <laughs> so that's wow. how old I am. Uh, Jazzy Yang, and she's like, you know, the next generation of Yang. She, you know, my, I'm on, I'm on my way out of wrestling. She's started, she's in, in this starting her, not starting, but she's been in it for a few years. Um, she, uh, to me, I think she's already better than me. At, she's 20 years old. She's better than me at 20. And I was in WCW, you know, so it's like, or all Japan, like, uh, you know, I really like I know I'm dad, so I'm kind of biased, you know, but you you can check her out, you know, jazzyyang.com. 
Uh, we just posted our 2022 matches on Vimeo.com backslash Jazzy Yang backslash VOD underscore pages. I know that's kind of a lot, <laughs> you know, but you can find it on social media like uh, Twitter at Jazzy Wang Yang, Facebook Jazzy Wang Yang. But basically, if you go to the site, jazzyyang.com, you can find all the links uh, to our show, social media and you can tell me what you think of it. <laughs> tell you, yeah. like, you, you know, like For everybody, sure. but uh, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, any way people can get in touch with you? Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, you have to go through her. <laughs> you know, so like jazzyyang.com, if you, you know, we'll be uh, at WrestleCon at the end. Uh, during WrestleMania week, we got a uh, few appearances over there with Pro Wrestling Unplugged, uh, Micro Wrestling uh, on in Hollywood, and then WrestleCon, and then we got a few other surprises. I can't tell you that now, but like we'll be out there. Um, yeah, JazzyYang.com. Get to me. Uh, go through her to get to me. All that kind of stuff. So, 